Okay, one thing to do when you are uh, taking things apart like this is to talk through and document with a phone or with a uh, with a video camera like I'm doing. Everything that you're doing, that way you know how things go back together. Uh, this gasket was right on the front here, and that goes to the air filter side. So I'm going to set this over here. And uh, first thing we'll do is with a half inch nut take the uh, take the bowl nut off the bottom of the bowl and I'm wearing plastic gloves right now because uh, I'm going to be using some carburetor cleaner and I want to make sure that uh, I don't get that on my hands all right let's see if we can crack this with this smaller screwdriver definitely getting it in there There we go. That should be working. Alright. Got that. And be very careful because of the uh, half of the gasket is sticking to the top and the other half is sticking to the bottom. So I'm probably going to have to order another new one of those. All right, there's that, the float. And take a look at the bottom and see what's in there. See there's all kinds of gunk in there. Floating around. That's really bad. I don't know how long I've had this thing, but it's, uh, it's the first time the carb's ever been opened on it. So, you can see that thing is shot. Uh, those gaskets look like they're a one-time use, so I, uh, we got a local Briggs & Stratton engine dealer for parts. I'll uh, make sure I get one of those gaskets. All right, now onto the float. Take the float pin out. That just slides out. And make sure to uh, put your parts in a uh, in a place where these they aren't going to float away. I've got a uh, got a paper plate over here that I'm putting stuff on. Slide the float out and the pin will come with it. There's the pin and the float and we'll put that off to the side. And if you're looking here, there's all kinds of stuff. See all that dark right down in there? I don't know what that is inside the carburetor, but uh, we're going to get that cleaned out. Uh, I'm going to use some carbon choke cleaner on it. That's why we got the gloves. So we'll just do a little spray action on this thing. Oh, make sure you have eye protection too, along with hand protection. I'm just going to spray this thing all over. Any hole, any hole you see, just spray it in there. And I'm going to spray some in here and just let it sit for a while. Apparently. Okay, I'm going to clean out these jets. And there's a large jet and a small jet inside this hole here. Clean out this one and 
you can see that you're uh, doing it right if you can see it come through. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is coming through there, so that's good. I've just taken some carb cleaner and cleaned off, trying to clean off the inside in here. You can see how clean that is there versus the back side and what that looked like. So I'm going to clean all that up around there and then uh, we should be pretty close to getting ready to go. The more I rubbed on the inside of this with the towel, the more chalkiness I got out of there. And so that's something you may want to make sure that you get cleaned out. Um, I've got the carb all cleaned up. Looks good inside and out here. <clears throat> Sprayed the outside. I didn't pay attention to what this knob was. It was set here, but I think that's where the choke lever on the top of the engine uh, chokes this for the uh, for the engine when it runs. So I get my gasket and uh, I'll be ready to put this thing back together.